Hello, internet world. Yeah, okay. So, I have decided to try a little vlog thing, but I'm doing this on Snapchat as of now because I packed up my camera already because I am getting ready to leave. It is my last week in New York at school until October. So, um, I didn't do this at all while I was here. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you a New York room. So here is my room. Number 232, I'm on the second floor luckily. Here's my little bunk bed. And there was a top bunk. I used to have a roommate, but he moved out. So now the room is just <laughs> so much bigger. <laughs> yeah, it's huge. Um, sorry about the mess. Let me just clean up a little. Yeah, perfect. Um, here's my little bitty sink. You know, got the essentials. Oh, there I am. Hello. Um, this is my closet. I'm currently moving out, so there's nothing in there except for that box I have to send home. And yeah, this is basically it. I got drawers, pots, and pans that I need to clean. I'm packing those up, so I'll clean those in a little bit. Here's my little fridge and more drawers and big pile of laundry I have to do. And there's my bathroom. It's super tiny. So yeah, that was my New York apartment. And yeah, this is what New York is. Small living, but I don't mind it. It's actually not that bad. It's kind of comforting. Yeah, pretty cool. And just for when I get back home and everyone wonders, I shaved my head. <laughs> oh no, red mark. Yeah, I shaved my head because um, when I went home during the semester break, my mom was diagnosed with breast cancer. So I decided to shave my head because she was losing all her head and I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna have to go through it alone. And because I couldn't be there to be with her, I decided this would be one of the ways I'd be able to support her and show her how much I love her. So that's why I did it. I don't think, I feel like it looked like Brad Pitt. Yeah, back in his young days, you know? <laughs> so, if anyone didn't know, um, I came to New York because I really love musical theater and it's one of my passions and I decided I want to turn it into a career. So I came up here to do school for musical theater and I'm at a conservatory. Basically that means they just, it's just the training aspect of school. Like I don't have math or science or language or any other type of college classes besides acting, singing and dancing and stuff like that. So I thought it was really good for me and it is. Um, I've learned so much over the eight, seven, eight months I've been here. It's pretty fun, and I'm living in the greatest city in the world, so that's also <laughs> pretty amazing. And I get to see a whole bunch of free shows, but we're not supposed to talk about that, so shh, be quiet. And I feel like if I continually do this, maybe a vlog every other week, every week, depending on how busy I am, um, then I'm going to keep this channel 100%. I'll probably tell you every single thing about my life and everything that happens. Only the good stuff. No, probably some of the bad stuff. Um, but welcome to my vlog. <laughs> Feels so cliche to say that now with how many vloggers are out there now, but uh, mostly I'll be doing this for my family and friends just so they can keep tabs on me. I'll be home for four months though, so if they want to keep tabs, they'll just call me. But when I come back, then they really might want to know what's going on. And I'll let them know.